Well, rapper and entrepreneur Mr. Fab is opening up publicly for the first time about his struggles with mental health. This is usually how we see Mr. Fab seeing here performing at the halftime show during the California Classico soccer match this month at Stanford Stadium. It was honoring the 50th anniversary of hip hop. Born and raised in Oakland, Mr. Fab also known for his community work. In fact, we were there doing a story on one of his new projects when the interview took a different turn. Tonight we hear from Stanley Cox, a.k.a. Mr. Fab, about his own words, about his struggles with anxiety. Something I wanted to address in this interview that I haven't, I don't think I've ever addressed it, like publicly. I suffer from anxiety, like real deep anxiety. Um, and there are times where it feels like the world is closing in on me. It's like, you know, um, the wall shut down, it's, you get hot, you get, and it's tough because it's a multitude of things. It's, it's hidden depression, it's the pressures of living up to what you're supposed to live up to, and it's it's tough, man. Um, and you asked me, did I want to did I want to end the interview, and I or did I want to do it another time? And I didn't. I wanted to. I wanted to address it because it's so many of us that go through this. It's so many of us that are fighting silent wars. I want to be the example to let people know the money, the fame, the popularity. That doesn't exclude you from these things. Still some days where I don't want to come outside. Still some days where I may get in my car and I have to pull over and I have to call somebody to come drive me somewhere because it just feels like the world is struck and I'm just, and we fighting. We fighting, we fighting personal wars. Why now? Why are you talking about it now? Why not? I feel like my influence is at a high level. And I can utilize this to help somebody. I can utilize this to give somebody the courage to talk about some of the things that they've been dealing with. And it can help. Some of the things that we keep closed in, man, you know, we, because we don't, we worry about what somebody gonna say about us. I'm past that. How long have you been struggling with this anxiety? I've been in my whole life. You know, you never, you never, you know, you don't diagnose it. We don't look at it as anxiety when we grow up. We normalize it. Your parents own drugs. You grew up in, you know, couch to couch, house to house. Everybody in the house on drugs. It's all kind of stuff going on, man. You know, it's, my satisfaction comes from being able to be the example of somebody that has the courage to talk about it. You know, Tupac said, I may not be the one to change the world, but I'm going to plant the seed in the mind of the one that does. And I'm one of those seeds. I'm going to just keep evolving. I'm going to keep learning. I'm going to keep pouring in, not only to myself, but to my community. Working through so much pain, and that's why Mr. Fab is opening up. He wants to help others going through the same thing. And there's so many resources out there to help. We have a list of websites and numbers from each of the Bay Area counties on our website, mbcbayarea.com slash mental health.